Hi, this is Mike, Family DIY TV on the YouTube. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I'm gonna to give you the four simple steps of starting up your humidifier for the winter, okay? These four steps are very important and it'll make sure that you don't run any issues two weeks, one month, or six months from now with humidifier. So let's do it. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna check our drain line. So every humidifier that's connected to a furnace pretty much is gonna have a drain line. We don't wanna turn this thing on until we make sure that our drain line is clear, all right? So what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be specific to each unit, right? This is the way my, this is the way I plumbed mine in. I actually have it going into the same line that the condensate from the furnace goes into. Let me bring you down here. So what I do is I take about a cup of bleach and just regular household bleach, nothing special. And we're gonna pour that in the line, okay? We're gonna do this first because we wanna let it work and clean out any, you know, anything that's grown in there over the season. And we're gonna make sure that this doesn't overflow, right? So this is doing, this is doing two things. It's cleaning the line, but it's also making sure that this isn't clogged, it doesn't just overflow. It sounded like it went through, so we're probably fine. We'll let that sit down inside this little trap here and kind of eat away at any any um, you know any junk that kind of develops in there uh, through the year. Okay, so once we do that, we'll put this back in here. We're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is we're gonna check our filter. We're gonna make sure it's not all crummy. Okay, so you take your door off, you drop it. You don't do that, but that was my fault. And I'm just gonna check my filter. The filter looks fine, it's nice and clean. It doesn't have anything growing on it, like mold or anything like that. You obviously don't want that, you know, turn your unit on and have mold being pulled through the entire unit. So, filter looks good. So we're gonna put this, we're actually gonna keep this off. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to turn the air on, okay? So I have two air uh, ducts. Um, so this one, we gotta turn it on here. Make sure you can actually feel inside, making sure that the air is going through. And I have another one up here and I'll open that one up, all right? So that next step was to open up the air, allow the air to flow, okay? The next and last step we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the water supply. Okay, so in the, in the summer, you should have turned the water supply off. So we're gonna turn this on. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to run a test and make sure that the water is running into the, into the filter and that it's also coming out here. Okay, so we're gonna put our humidifier into test mode and then we're gonna turn our furnace on. I just turned my furnace on. And I just turned the temperature super high so that I know that the unit will turn on. And test mode, and you can hear the, I, can, I don't know if you can hear, but I can hear the water running. And I'm just making sure that the water's coming out and that the water's going into the unit as it should, okay? So that's all the steps. What we're gonna do now is we're going to put this back on. Um, uh, this is actually the last time I changed the filter, so I put this on here to tell me when I change the filter. I actually write the filter number right on on here so that I know when I need another one. Um, the nice thing is this actually tells you when you need a water filter. So uh, if it was time to water, replace your water filter, obviously you would do that now, but I don't need to do that, okay? Um, we can see that the water is running in here. It's not overflowing. You want to keep an eye on this for a little bit, but that's it. That's how you start your. Uh, that's how you start your humidifier. So if this video was helpful, uh, you know, please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe. I appreciate you. I appreciate you watching. And this is Mike from Family DIY TV, and I'm out. We actually forgot the last step. So the last step is actually to turn the unit on here and set it to the amount of humidity you want in your house. Okay, this is the controller. All right.